On this episode of China Uncensored, this is why they don't allow guns in China. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. Civilians in China aren't allowed to own guns, and there's a good reason why. Local officials couldn't get away with stuff like this. No, this isn't Photoshop, it's the home of Luo Bao Gun, a farmer in China's Zhejiang province. There used to be a whole village here, with over a thousand people living in it. But they all moved out four years ago, when construction on a new freeway began. Everyone except Luo, that is. He and his wife weren't given enough compensation by government contractors, so they just built the road around it. But you know, it doesn't matter that you make a crappy road that endangers people's lives. What's most important is that you show an elderly couple who's the boss of China! And don't think this is a one-time thing. It's happened over and over and over again. It's so common that they have a name for it, nail houses. They stick up out of construction sites like nails, waiting to be hammered down. So this is what the world's second largest economy looks like. According to Amnesty International, forced evictions and demolitions are on the rise. Since the Chinese government technically owns most of the land in China, corrupt officials are able to seize land and sell it to contractors, often to pay off debt. Since it's their own government doing it, people really don't have many options. So you end up with stories like this. Cheng Chu Xing didn't want to move out, so developers sent thugs to beat him up. He was hospitalized for two months, and when he went back home, this is all that was left. Then there was Wang Jiazheng. He lit himself on fire as the bulldozers were coming to his front door. He died a week later. His family was not allowed to see him. According to Amnesty, between 2009 and 2011, there have been 41 cases of self-immolations over land grabs. So what happens when armed police acting under corrupt officials beat and murder unarmed civilians? Well, sometimes they make their own guns. This is from back in 2010. Yang Yoda built homemade cannons out of a wheelbarrow, pipe, and fireworks to fend off violent demolition crews. His story became such a hit that shortly after, someone made an online game called The Nail Household vs. Demolition Team. You play as the Ding family, select family members, strategically place them, and kill hordes of demolition crews that come your way. Each level becomes progressively harder until, inevitably, the house is brought down, Ding family and all. Seems kind of ironic they call it the People's Republic of China, don't you think? Well, that's all for today. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored.